Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for November the 12th through November the 18th. Um, and welcome. Thank you. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I really hope you enjoy these readings and I hope that you'll come back um, and watch them again. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you, guys. You are amazing. Thank you for all the new subscribers I got last week and all the wonderful comments and um, shares and likes and views. Um, it was definitely a lovely week. And um, I just want to say, guys, this is a general reading. So please just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. These readings are, you know, for the community as a whole. So they, they're not for everybody. Um, there may be small parts in the reading that's for you. Um, so if it rev resonates with you, amazing. Please leave me a comment and like the video. And if it, if it doesn't, then please come back or check out your sun, moon and rising because these are also very poignant, your sun, moon and rising. Um, and there may be a message there for you. Um, now, uh, these are general readings, like I said, and if you would like a personal reading and around this time of year, I usually do the uh, 12 month readings. And um, if you sign up for my um, for my newsletter, uh, you will get a really good discount on that right now. I'm just saying, guys, all the information is in the show more section below. You'll get the links to all the other videos in that section below. Sometimes it takes me a little while to update that as I'm uploading the videos. It takes me a couple of days. Um, so if you'd like a personal reading and I love giving personal readings, please click on this link here. Um, now, guys, it takes me a lot of time, especially with this new format where I do the, hit, uh, the hit, you know, excuse me, the horoscope before and uh, and then I do the tarot readings. Um, so it's a lot of work. It's a day just to write the horoscopes for 12 signs. And then, you know, I have to uh, video them and that takes a couple of days to video. And then I have to upload and edit and then you know, have them posted on. Anyway, it takes me about four days. Um, so it would be really nice if you could check out my Patreon page right here and perhaps, you know, donate a one-time donation or, um, or, you know, a regular donation of a dollar, two dollars a month. It's, it's not a lot, but it is huge for me and it does pick up. And what I do is I have different tiers, uh, reward tiers, and I'm changing that. And um, I'm going to put some different things and and I post things on there that I only post for my po patrons that I don't post anywhere else. Um, so you get a behind the scenes look, you know, you get a little bit of uh, inside my life and, and, you know, my inspirations. And anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's go to your readings. There's a lot going on this week. Hello Cancer and welcome to your reading for November the 12th through November the 18th. And the, f oh, I was going to say the first card out for you. Listen, it's really late at night or I should say early on Saturday morning and I'm losing my voice, but I'm on a time schedule and I need to get these out to you, at least some of them by tomorrow morning. So I'm burning the midnight oil. Um, so anyway, um, Here's your horoscope, Cancer, for this coming week. Um, they, there are a lot of changes uh, happening in your career. There's a big shake-up going on. Um, the change may have already happened. You could have lost your job. It may have already occurred, right? You could have lost your job. You could get a new job. I lost my job. <laughs> I'm a Cancer, yeah. Um, but look, this this uh, this change is happening for a reason, and it's going to be for the best. It's look, ride the crest of that wave. This is Uranus coming in and making all these changes and shaking things up, and Uranus is like the wave that brings you into the present moment, right? So, ride. You can either splatter about in that wave and 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 fight for air and fight it. Um, but go with it, ride the crest of the wave and it will put you down soon on a better beach. 
Um, so embrace the change and don't be in fear. I know it's always a little fearful sometimes. It's like, especially when the bills come in, you're like, ah! <clears throat> anyway, um, Mars is moving into Pisces in your area of higher learning and spirituality. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hold on, let me have some water. And, um, so you're feeling inspired um, to move for. I mean, this is you're really inspired to kind of study to, uh, you know, for discussions and philosophy to, you know, you're going to find that you have this ability to really study a complex subject um, at the moment. Um, so you're feeling inspired to move forward with a deeper connection to the ethereal realm. You're really going to maybe you want to study the occult, you know, like tarot or astrology or things like or, you know, Wiccan, whatever it is. Um, cancers are predisposed to that. They are naturally um, intuitive and psychic. So right now, all these gifts are being enhanced. Um and so you have you you're you're likely to connect um, on a very deep level with the ethereal realm, with higher realms, uh, with your higher self, and you know guides and spirit guides and and um, angels. Now, um, you may be thinking right now about your health and improving it, <laughs> and what you can do to help. And what you can do to do that. So, but you may be kind of thinking and not taking action. It's it's like you've had this kind of plan that you're perhaps going to exercise or you're going to improve your diet and and you have this desire um, to do it, but you're it's you're lacking the motivation to take the action. Um, so maybe you want to kind of really research it and and go that extra. Do it, do it, cancer. I'm saying that to myself. Do it, Mary. <laughs> I need to get out there and exercise. I really do. I know I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, so, um, yeah, it says you may be thinking but not doing. Now, Venus moving forward in your home inspires you to beautify your home. You may want to kind of, you know, um, redesign something, buy new stuff. You know, you're really, you really want it to be pretty. It's very important for you now because, you know, it's, it's, you maybe you want to renovate, maybe, but you know, it's probably just, you know, putting flowers out, tidying up, you know, and also with Mercury and retrograde, it's a wonderful time to organize and, um, and, uh, you know, sort out your closet and, you know, donate stuff to charity and, and um, clear the clutter. If you have clutter, clear it. Okay, so that was your horoscope, Cancer. And now let's go to your card, shall we? And the first card out, darling, the first card out is the Eight of Pentacles. This is higher learning. This is like really studying your craft, whatever it is that you're studying. It's like, this is known as the apprentice card, but this is could be going back to college. And look, clarifying it, the sun is shining on it. This is a really good time for you um, to study. And I'm really glad that I've just been taken up. I'm all, I've already, you know, I was totally distracted when I was supposed to be do, writing uh, the horoscopes yesterday. I was just uh, engrossed in study, you know, because I'm, I, as an astrologer, you never stop learning, you know, it's very important to just keep that momentum going. So this is about, um, learning, darling. It's about studying. It's about f quenching that thirst for knowledge. We should all remain students, remain teachable, and then we t we pass it on. It's important. We're students and teachers, all of us. But when you learn something new, it keeps your mind sharp. Your mind is a muscle, just like the rest of your body. I need to be exercising the rest of my... I'm ten I tend to exercise my mind a lot, but not my body. <laughs> but I'm going to. Um, the next card up for you is the Eight of Swords. This is a feeling of being trapped. Um, 
This can be Uranus because Uranus is that urge to be free. Um, I feel that you're coming through something and, I, and this is the message I'm getting for you, Cancer. I feel that you've gone through a really difficult time over the last um, few years and I feel that you're going to finally break f f free. I feel that you're going to come through a different, um, you're going to come through a phase in your life and you're going to move on to the next phase, but you're going to be free. It's going to be on your terms. And, you know, right now, as it says in your horoscope, but, you know, the change doesn't necessarily feel great, but it will be amazing when you come through it. So the Eight of Swords is an illusion. She's not really trapped. She's blindfolded and she just believes it. We are prisoners of our own mind most of the time. We limit ourselves through our thought process and, and we stop ourselves from moving forward because, you know, we, we think we don't have a choice or we think that um, uh, there isn't a way out. There is always a way out, darling, always a way out. Um, so this is an illusion. It's, it's the intellect, it's cerebral, it's in the head, it's not real. Um, so clarifying it is the king of pentacles, darling. Look, you can have anything you want through hard work. So keep, keep the momentum going. Keep up the hard work, Cancer. Don't, um, become complacent right now. It's really important to keep the momentum going. That's why I'm burning the midnight oil. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this momentum going. I'm trying to keep my head above water, darling. <laughs> this is what we have to do. Look, the King of Pentacles comes into a reading and he's saying, you can have it all. You've got it all. This is abundance. It's coming to you. But it's not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. This is about putting the hours in. It's about putting the work in, the effort. And, you know, and the intention, you know. This is about following through. This is about following through on your actions. This is about me exercising. <laughs> oh, my God. i got to keep berating myself, you know. I need to get out there. Um, and the next card that comes up. See, look, the king is all about opulence, abundance, but he's about hard work. He knows that, look, you can find him in the fields with his art, with his sleeves rolled up right next to all the, you know, all the farm workers. He has no area of, you know, getting his hands dirty and creating something in the soil. And this is a very, look, the way to balance a lot of these emotions and these um, transits and these energies is to focus on creativity. That's the way to get through this. Um, sometimes these, you know, these moody uh, planets that come in, in, you know, in different areas of our life. Now, um, the next card is the nine of cups. That's dream, dreams and wishes come true. The nine of cups. This is the thing with the nine of cups is like, he's seeing the um, he's finally seeing that things are paying off, right? And he's seeing the potential that this could be massive. And he's just very, that's my dog's dreaming. He's, he's <laughs> do you hear him dreaming? Did this last week. So this is about celebrating, right? But when the nine of cups comes in, it's saying, don't stay at the party too long, darling. <laughs> celebrate, definitely celebrate. This is a wonderful um, energy. Sparky, stop it. <laughs> oh my God, he's barking at someone in a field, running after them. Um, so the nine of cups is really about wishes and dreams come true. So this is like a wonderful budding moment for you guys. Think, And you can see the potential. You can see things changing for you. You know, think, you really do know things are going to be okay. Um, so, you know, things are really paying off for you guys. Don't be stuck up here in, you know, in your self-imposed prison. That's what this is. This is a self-imposed prison and limitation that's, you know, not based in reality. Now, look at what's clarifying the nine of cups. So here's this, this 
it's it, sometimes if it's not come in, you can see the potential. You can see it. You're starting to see um, the the results of your hard work. This is what this is. So emotionally, it's almost like, look, nines, you're almost at the finish line, right? This is almost at the finish line. And it's an exciting time. Now, clarifying it is the star card. And look, this is like your path is being illuminated for you, Cancer, right now. And there's a deep healing coming in for you. It's a spiritual, it's emotional, and it's physical. This healing is coming in for you. And I'm my nose is itching, so that's... Thank you, Spirit. This is coming in for you in a big way. Um, look, she comes in and she sprinkles starlight in the dark where it was all dark. And now you can see a path. You can start to see the future. It's lit up for you. It's almost like the runway's lit up. You've just got to take off. Follow the lights and take off. Um, you're definitely things are things are changing for you in a in a major way, so so keep keep that in mind, Cancer. Don't be in fear, and don't be in your head saying that you're a prisoner of your circumstances because you're not. Things are really looking up. They're really breaking out. You've got the sun shining on you, darling. Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment. I love comments and feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you next week. Uh...